Let me start by saying I'm not going to tell you how to invest. Any experienced advisor will tell you that what to invest is always personal. It's about your goals and what you want. Now, many folks invest in a contribution plan or a retirement account, like a 401k or Roth IRA. All these contribution plans and accounts are going to differ based on context and circumstance, and there's a lot of things that are very, very specific. Let's talk only about some common contribution plans with general information. Though many contribution plans and types exist, most folks will encounter an employer-based contribution plan, a plan provided through an employer, or an individual retirement account, or IRA, with contributions from personal funds, things that you invest in. All contribution plans consist of investments made through contributions by you via your wages or personally electing to send money to a brokerage. But they differ based on parameters set by the IRS on contribution limits and taxation status. So for instance, 401ks, these are retirement or pension plans. An employee contributes money from their paycheck and typically an employer will match those contributions. This is a tax deferred plan. Taxes do not incur on money in an account until withdrawal. A withdrawal before not 59 and a half will incur an additional penalty. You can also elect to have a Roth 401k where the contributions are taxed when paid into the plan and when you withdraw after 59 and a half, they come to you tax free. For public and government employees, often a 457 is offered. These plans are like 401ks, but usually without employer matching and without early withdrawal penalties because employees in public service often retire earlier. Our 403b is like a 457 plan, but for school teachers and nonprofit employees. Both of these plans typically are tax deferred unless you elect a Roth contribution. You can invest using IRAs, which are personalized and individual plans where the custodian, like a bank or a brokerage firm, holds the plan. In this situation, you'll typically work with a bank or a broker and set up an IRA for retirement that you'll contribute over a span of time with contribution limits. In a traditional IRA, contributions are tax deductible and with withdrawn, taxed as income, pre-tax. Now, a Roth IRA, differs because contributions are taxed when paid into an account and are therefore post-tax when withdrawn. That means that generally anything you withdraw will not necessarily be taxed as income. You've already paid taxes on it and you will receive no penalty for withdrawals unless you withdraw returns, money made on investments, under five years of beginning your Roth IRA. Now with a Roth IRA, some penalties do apply for different circumstances which you can review on the IRS website. I'll link that in the description. All of these plans have different rules and special circumstances on how they're taxed when withdrawn. That's why I always encourage you to speak with an advisor or check out the IRS website for more information.